Hi, Cal Put Piso here. Everything that I post in my videos is backed up by evidence. We are evolved mutated primates that create God and belief with our brains. Educated people that believe in God suffer from a neurological malfunction, uh, very similar to schizophrenia or schizotypal disorder. Uh, the facts are there for everyone to see. You be the judge. The things in the universe that make it such a puzzle. And it's only by looking at the very big and the very small that we can piece together answers about how the universe came to exist. Exactly. And why it evolved into something that would include us. Yep. People who are looking at the biggest thing you can think about, the universe. And people who are looking at the littlest thing you can think about, they're really talking about the same thing. Yep. <laughs> Three billion years ago, we originated from cyanobacteria. As a matter of fact, they're still with us. They're waiting for us to die and killing us. <laughs> but anyway, that's a fact. And uh, our, uni uh, you, our brains are the universes within. That's what we think and create the mind with. Maybe 99%, as was earlier noted, that's a, um, of all life that has ever lived is now extinct. Life, not from the beginning of the Earth. Life happened quickly, but not multicellular life. Uh, you needed your cyanobacteria to sort of crank on the oxygen, get the oxygen budget going. Then you could have sort of, uh, that's sort of rocket fuel for multicellular creatures. We evolved. So and by accident, we end up with a tremendous computer, our brains, to give us cognition, making us aware of our own existing, and then creating God to answer everything that we did not understand. There are about a trillion neurons and quadrillion of synapses using electricity to pass information. Here is the brain of a schizophrenic, which is similar to a religious person, and a neuron which resembles galaxies, and they are the universes within our brains. Let's not forget, we are born lacking belief. In other words, atheist. That atheist. That and the brain on its own is powerless. In order to be aware of its surroundings, it needs highly specialized inputs of electrical information. That information. Right. Our senses can give us false information when affected by drugs or disease. That's when we start hearing voices and seeing things and smelling God and spirits. Ears, even more than it's our eyes, that help us locate ourselves in our environment. When the brain malfunctions, which happens in the religious and the schizophrenic, uh, our senses don't give the right information. We can hear voices, we can see things that are not there, and also believe in things that are not there. And it's all because of the defective brain religious of star stuff the debris of exploding stars that manufactured the atoms of which were composed part of a star in fact everything around us was once part of a star those stars forged all the heavier elements that would much later come together to create the molecules that form everything we see all recycled atoms it's absolutely true we see the same kind of recycling here on Earth. The atoms that form the planet have been reused to create and sustain every organism that ever lived. The facts of science, atheism, is there for all to see. Uh, we can never rely on garbage like this to be true. None of these religious texts, which are very ancient, are true. They're all fantasies and mythologies. Accepting them as true is like accepting Winnie the Pooh is true also. It's only for retarded and uh, deluded folks infected with the religious psychosis. Science created by atheism always wins. And here are the facts. You can get cured with science, not by believing God with his... And it brings up a whole God. issue about, about the, the virus and mutations in the virus. Um, in fact, HIV is not a single virus, but HIV is a, it is a number of closely related viruses because, remember I talked about the HIV reverse transcriptase, that it makes, it makes errors as it's replicating the RNA into DNA, has poor proofreading mechanism, and so 
even within a single individual, the virus starts to evolve very rapidly. And some of those mutations can it's evolution for you the people. way that the virus enters cells, the way that it replicates within cells. Most of that information is yet still to be fully discovered. We Christianity, which is the acceptance of a resurrected zombie as if it were reality, is not like HIV, but of course of the brain. Conclusions are that viral mutation is a huge challenge for vaccine development. It's a huge challenge for drug development also. The virus keeps changing. We yeah. have to keep coming up with new drugs. Bruce evolution, people, right there. We are constantly fighting bacteria, our ancestors, until we die. With, and then they will win. It turned out that this toxin was a Shigella toxin. Yeah. which is the third Evolution. most lethal toxin after tetanus. Natural toxin. genetic, natural genetic better than California. our people artificial genetic engineering. Place Nature does it by evolution. Science. The creation of a mentally healthy brain, atheist, is always fighting the psychosis of belief. Idiots! You don't see it! Of course! Look at these idiots here! The back of their head against a Roman temple! Right there! They should be in a mental institution too! Look at this! Archaeology and faith were more or less antagonistic. Yes, they are! Faith tried to use archaeology yeah. to prove that it was true. Archaeology at times would be guided by faith, misguided by faith, to look for misguided by faith, to look for... The uh, Muslims believe in angels and spirits, and Muhammad received the uh, Quran from uh, an angel in a cave, and it flew in a horse. Many do not realize that believing God, delusions like the ones of schizophrenia are created in the brain. And uh, that's the reason you see all these lunacies. The deluded Christians in the Middle Ages had no idea how disease was produced. One human being, one grieving human being, and he's speaking to a, another person, and it's a voice that's immediately recognizable 700 years later, despite the trappings of authority. These deluded folks that believed the Earth was the center of the universe had no idea how disease was produced. They thought it was a sin, and it was a curse from God. So they decided to pray and flagellate themselves to atone for their sins. <laughs> Fanatics who think they can win God's mercy by imitating Christ. Believing God, the psychosis have been keep people stupid and deluded for thousands of years. They stagnate the intellect. They are anti-science. And that's a problem even today in the 21st century. Reuben will be crucified in this one town. <laughs> Eight men, including Reuben, will make their sacrifice. Being prepared to die every time you go to church is an idea that most people find taboo. I don't believe in the serpent handling it all. See, there you go. They believe in the Bible. By touching fire. You can't bring it back. It's like a dream that you can't bring back, but yeah. you know you want to sleep. Well, come on, lady. Why don't you put him in a mental institution like all Christians and all these people that go to church? Look at that. In it a is. country where 96% of the population is Catholic. Catholic? There where does this unorthodox religion fit in? Same thing. Look at that. History has made Venezuela a melting pot of African, European, and indigenous cultures. Hey. And the cult of Maria Leonza reflects this by incorporating parts of each culture. In parts the of brain each culture. that has faith and beliefs in God is a sick brain and retarded. Only science can make us progress and fight disease. And what it this, is, this is science. This is atheism. Of itself, Lack of uh, believing nonsense. Here's Lack a of uh, believing nonsense. Cell. Here's its chromosome. Here's a virus, and this is the DNA. And, and all this is done by science, of course. The virus injects Not by religious the stagnation. Not by religious stagnation. Cell. And okay. when it injected its DNA, See what happens? This gene was incorporated into the chromosome See that? of this E. coli cell. That's the way things evolved. E. coli 0157. They had no idea of this in religious texts in ancient times. The gene. DNA helix and genes would not be discovered until 1953 by Craig and Watson, proven Darwin correct. So believe that God exists is a retarded psychosis indeed. Keep it healthy.